Be very afraid, my friends, for today, we are not alone. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Gary's Mod, and welcome to the Wasteland, a map that is very, well, barren and wastelandy. And it's perfect for this creature. This is the Tremors Graboid. Now, guys, I know this is going to sound criminal. I have not seen a Tremors movie, so yeah, judge me all you want. I didn't see Back to the Future until like three years ago. I'm very uncultured when it comes to movies. I didn't watch a lot of movies growing up except for like Disney films and stuff like that. So seeing creatures like this just kind of appease my appetite of seeing these kinds of movies. So I'll probably be watching this sometime this week now. But also guys, this NPC is more than just a grub that wants to eat you alive. In fact, this NPC itself has some very important history with Gary's Mod. Because way back in the day, I took a look at this exact NPC, but it was a different one, of course, and I think it would be interesting to see how these NPCs have changed over the years. Again, this is not the same NPC or even made by the same creator, I'm not entirely sure about that. But one thing I am sure about is it's an all-new NPC, and this thing is going to be very formidable because even though, well, it's kind of hard to shoot, it does have a health bar. Now, in order to properly see it, we're going to have to go underground. But even then, you're gonna have some issues seeing what it looks like. This is truly what we are dealing with, and it looks pretty creepy, but I gotta say, it looks pretty accurate to the movie rendition. So of course, this guy loves to stick underground, but is there a way to get it to come up? Yes, there is. Although it's gonna look a little strange. Remember guys, this thing is not meant to be above ground. In fact, I have no clue how I'm gonna do the thumbnail for this, but this is what it looks like out of the ground and it's got 500 health so not exactly a whole lot but at the same time I mean are you ever going to get a chance to shoot this thing but anyway it does feel really good to come back to this after so many years and kind of revisit this it's you know kind of nostalgic all right so I'm going to try to land a few shots on this guy again it is going to be very difficult because he only comes up for like a second and you don't know exactly where his body is going to align as you can see, I'm sucking some pretty tremendous balls, unfortunately. But we're able to do something before he completely eviscerated us. Now, thankfully, in today's video, we do have the Modern Warfare weapons. Although it would be kind of cool to not have to choose which weapon I want and to kind of just have it be randomly chosen for me. Video in the top right corner. All right, this should actually be pretty good. Now, if I just spray and pray, that's kind of my strategy. Oh my god, he actually got me. Like I said, my friends, this NPC is very hard to actually shoot. It's it's kind of terrifying, too, because you don't know exactly how close he is until, well, it's probably too late. Like, I have no idea where... There he is. Okay. Come on. Oh, I already get that close already. So when you're not running away all the time, it's kind of surprising how quick he can really jump up on you. Uh... Yeah. And there we have it. Holy cow, that was scary. This is pretty cool. So when you do kill him, he will come above ground finally, and we can see that we've cut him in half. And not only that, we even do get a model. So never mind about the thumbnail, should be pretty easy. All right, now we're gonna see how he reacts to other NPCs. Let me go ahead and uh, make him ignore us. So yeah, he's just gonna very quickly take care of Odessa there. And, uh, oh, our vehicle? Yeah, he doesn't like vehicles for some reason, so be mindful where you put your airboat. All right, let's go ahead and see that one more time, because I didn't get a good chance last time. Wait, where did he go? Mr. Graboid? I might have deleted him. All right, here we go. Oh! oh. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh no, what happened? The jalopy killed him. How in the world is that even possible? He was underground. Oh no, the jalopy has spawned and flinged out and it just so happened to hit him. I don't know how that's even possible, but well, I caught it on camera. All right, guys, we're gonna crank it to 11. Let's see what he does to this. Oh wait, look at this. The graboid that I ended up not deleting is coming back. Now we have two. This should be interesting. So surprisingly, the cars have not flung yet. Uh, oh my god, we're actually getting errors here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. They really don't like the cars, though. As you can see, they're actually trying to attack them. 
I'm surprised they didn't kill me, but the jalopy definitely did the trick. <sighs> you know what? That's all the people need in the movie. A jalopy. So there you guys have it. That was the Graboid from Tremors. Definitely an interesting mod and definitely a pretty scary one. There's apparently going to be more added in the future, so definitely stay tuned. I would absolutely love to do a video on that, but as always, guys, if you want to leave a like or subscribe, you know what to do. Links will be in the description. Use code NECROS94 to save 20% off your next order. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, farewell.